Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Kelvin and the Infamous Machine. I don't know a whole lot about this game. I know that it is a uh, kind of a clicker puzzle solving type game, and it looks to be really fun. Uh, I briefly read the description in Steam, decided I would just go ahead and get it because I usually enjoy games like this, and this one looked really good. So here we go. Chapter 1, 5th. Uh, didn't chapter 1 be called 1st? The brilliant Either yet way. chronically overlooked Dr. Edwin Lupin culminates his research into the nature of time itself. Helped by his dedicated assistant Lees and Kelvin, Lupin constructs the world's first functioning time machine, which for complicated science reasons looks exactly like a portable shower. When the science journal publishes its list of the year's greatest inventions, the time machine is curiously absent. Oh wait, there it is. Winner of the lamest invention award ridiculed for its appearance the judges have dubbed it the infamous machine dr lupin of course accepts this setback with grace and dignity for about two seconds yeah, it looks like it. madness he launches himself into the past bent on stealing credit for humanity's greatest works can the bumbling kelvin driven by a basic understanding of right and wrong repair the unraveling timeline or will he totally blow it and doom the universe to oblivion? Kelvin follows Dr. Lupin to his first destination, 19th century Vienna. Wow, that did not stay up there very long. I should read faster. Um, you guys can pause it. You, you, you can read. Seriously. Yeah, it tends to happen when you're showering in public. Thanks for putting on clothes. Well, great. We're 10 seconds in, and the game already has an 18 plus rating. Well, there you go. Kelvin? Kelvin, can you can you hear me? Ah! Please? Kelvin, you're alive. Are you all right? Well, the water pressure was a little low for my taste, but... Kelvin, focus. Where are you? What do you see? Uh, looks like downtown somewhere. Uh, France, maybe? Okay, good. The system says you're actually in Austria. Austria? Boy, good time, mate. Oh, Austria, no. Kelvin, not Australia. <laughs> and it's 1804. So, uh, why did Lupin come here? Likely he was after Beethoven. The dog! A composer, Kelvin. According to history, Ludwig von Beethoven penned just four symphonies before retiring in 1804. It's statistically improbable that a man of his genius would end his career so suddenly. You're saying Lupin messed with Beethoven so he could write the rest of the symphonies himself? Exactly. You need to find Beethoven and get him to write his fifth symphony. Got it. So, uh, what does the symphony sound like? Who knows? It's been erased from history. Uh, Kelvin, the connection's breaking up. Oh boy, this is the guy that's supposed to save uh, humanity. Seriously? Cone. Just your everyday reinforced steel cone. Oh boy, this game is going to be good. It looks really hot. I don't want to burn my hand. See what the poster says. Tomorrow night only, maestro Matthew S. Francis performs his celebrated yawning concerto. Huh. Wonder why Lupin skipped this guy. My guess is that is Lupin. Did I just take... I'm just taking stuff? All right, let's just steal stuff. That's a good idea. Let's check this trash can. Now I'm playing hacky with a piece See, of paper. See, kids? Rooting through municipal garbage is safe. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. That's my bad. Slow night, huh? Right now, all the rich snobs are next door listening to their rich snob music. That's who drinks here? Rich snobs? Everybody in there is either a rich snob or knows a rich snob. Them's the rules. Uh. Any crazy eyed scientists come through here lately? You kidding? This is Vienna. Half the people here are crazy eyed weirdos. How about yeah. like a really small crazy eyed weirdo? Sorry, kid. Pretty much everybody looks small to me. Now move along. Man, uh, you know if Beethoven is in there. Do you know if Beethoven is in there? Who? Ludwig van Beethoven, the legendary composer. 
What's he look like? Crazy hairdo, death glare, kind of hard of hearing. Oh, the deaf guy. Yeah, he's in there. Looked real annoyed about something when he came in. Can I go inside? Hmm, no. Why not? This joint has a strict dress code. It does, but you're wearing a ratty old tank top. Do I look like I'm inside? Touche, bouncer. Point made. Uh, so gonna go I So I can go in if I find fancier clothes? Or should I try? Yeah, so let's go with fancier I clothes. So I can go in if I find fancier clothes? Hmm, nope. Well, what else is the matter? You don't look old enough to drink. That's just because I moisturize. Likely story. What year were you born? 2000 and, uh, uh, I mean, uh... Nice try, kid. Go play at the carnival or something. Oh, come on, man. Alright, let's try it. See if it works. I know the owner, pal. If you don't let me in right I now... I know the owner, pal. If you don't let me in right now, I'll get him to fire you. Yeah. What's his name? His name? It's, uh, Glenn. Glenn Hunt. Sorry, buddy. Glenn Hunt sold this joint about a month ago. New ownership. Oh, oh that was a nice on. guess. I'll All be right. back. I'll be. Free parking. Free parking? Downtown? Learn some supply and demand, people. Oh, there's a buggy. Let's check the buggy. Yeah, uh, I'm no buggy expert, but whoever owns this one can definitely afford to pay for parking. Well, okay then. So, so far, this game is turning out to be uh, very, very interesting. Um, let's, let's, let's go in the lobby. Oh, man, there's all kinds of stuff here I probably shouldn't be messing with. Yep, it's uh, an emergency bottle of water. That's their fire extinguisher, by the way. Those candles are really stuck in there. Come on, machine. Woo! It's a shamelessly anachronistic gumball machine. <laughs> Put that back. Whoops. I got caught. I wonder if I can read Whoa, about this. Oh, a Stradivarius. That's like the Stradivarius of violins. Nice. Ah, it's locked up tight. Too bad. I could sell it for a fortune in the future. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get that flute. Is there a concert going on in there? There is. Can I go in? You cannot. Tickets are sold out. How do you know I don't have a ticket? <laughs> Call it a hunch. All right. Well, apparently he knows us too Ticketed well. Ticketed patrons only. All right. All right. Fine. We'll go through the alley and go in the back door because, you know, that's so much easier. What? What happened? Uh, no, I don't want to exit. I don't know what that was. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's head into the alley. Oh, what is this? What's this, what's this here? I think I hear something moving around in there. Oh, I don't want no part of that, then. Let's talk to this guy. This seems fun. Uh, you there, little boy. Are you talking to me? Who else, Sonny? Dude, I'm 26. Well... Don't you have quite the imagination? Well, don't you Are just you hate serious? That? I'm. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the ring toss? Indeed it is. Oh boy! Can I play, Mister? Please. Oh, of course, Sonny. If you've got a few coins to spare, that is. Oh man, it's always something. Uh, can I play just once without paying? What do I get if I win? What's the creepiest... What's the creepy vase over there? Let's ask about what's that. What's with the creepy vase over there? Oh, that? It belongs to the snake charmer. Is he on break? I'm afraid he's in the hospital. He had a touch too much of the drink and tried charming the flute by playing the cobra. Whoops. Whoops, indeed. Uh, yeah, that would be bad. Uh, what if what I do I get if I win? Tonight's prize is a ticket to the acclaimed Vienna Symphony. Whoa! Fancy! You bet your bottom. All right, let's see if I can... Could I play, play just once without paying? Where I'm from, they let you play a little for free, and then suddenly you can't stop. I'm afraid not, lad. Portly carnival workers need to eat, too. 
You understand? Bye, Ring Toss Dude! Come back anytime! So... Ring Toss. Sounds fun! More fun than a warehouse full of barley, my boy. Come on up and try your luck. Ring Toss. More okay. fun than a... Alright. Alright. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Oh my goodness, what is this? Yikes! That mole has seen some things. Let's talk to her. Whoa! Are you a fortune teller? You got it. Fortunes, divinations, and prophetic prognostications. Only thing I don't do is palm reading. Oh. Orifans. Could you tell my fortune? Huh? Oh, wish I could. But a dark and terrible evil has rendered me powerless. Of course it has. A ghost is draining you of your spiritual aura? Nah, some jerk tourist ran off with my crystal ball. Didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> what can I say? Divination is a mysterious and fecal craft. All right. Uh, come on. Can't you do a really basic fortune without your crystal ball? Have you seen visions of what the world will be like in 200 years? Any idea where I can find Beethoven? Any idea where I could That's... find Beethoven? Is that a street? I'm going to take that as a no. Have you seen visions of what the world will be like in 200 years? Sure have. Crazy place. Mechanical carriages speed around without needing horses to pull them. There's all sorts of delicious sugary foods, but people keep eating kale for some reason. Oh, and everybody has a magic rectangle that they use to send each other pictures of their privates. Wow, you're good. <laughs> this is dead on. <laughs> that is good. Come on, can't you do a really basic fortune without your crystal ball? I don't know. Can you build a really basic castle without any rocks? Point taken. Wow. See you later. I know. Ah, striker. Test your might. <laughs> All right. Um. Apparently, I need to find some. What's in my bag? There you go. Let's just see. Uh, I have a light ball and a candle. Um, Lord of the Ring Toss. Let's see if we can find some change on this street out here somewhere. It's probably going to be a no, but um, it's worth a shot, I guess. Just your everyday. Check the trash can again. It's probably going to be a piece of paper. Hey, oh. that's my Definator 6000. All right. I found some of the chest. Check it again. Maybe I'll find some change. Nope. Nope. Just going to play hacky with the paper one more time. Okay. Stage tra Try it again. We'll listen to what he has to say this time. See, kids? Rooting through municipal garbage is safe and fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how safe it is. Tomorrow night only. My... Huh. But... Uh, let's see if I can trade. Yeah, let's see if I can trade something to this guy. Oh, shiny. Sorry, lad. I only accept standard currency. Man, I don't have any standard currency, though. Um... All right. Well, we are gonna I find. I think I, I think I hear something moving around in there. All right, guys. Well, in the next episode, we're gonna find some currency. We're gonna play a ring toss. We're gonna get a ticket to get in this place. Uh, can I go this way anymore? I cannot. Okay. Spotlight. Oh yeah, that's good. Who needs good. video games? <laughs> that's funny. All right, uh, we're going to try to go in this door over here real quick before we end the episode. Actually, can I click on, can't click on that. This? Water puddle? No? What's Holy this? kid, you're staying oh, out on. here until you meet the dress code. Come on, man. Yeah, uh, I'm no buggy expert, but whoever owns this one can definitely... Okay, so I think we're going to need to take the flute and trade it to the guy to play the ring toss.
But we're going to find out in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this game, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought about the game. Uh, apparently it's brand new, just came out. I am super excited about it. This game seems like a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You, you guys have a great day, and goodbye.